Now, riding bikes is a favorite for many this time of year. So tonight we're putting bike helmets to our Tuesday test to see which ones deliver the protection you count on. Brent Mather learned firsthand just how important it is to wear a bike helmet. I was hit by a car several years ago, and if it wasn't for the helmet, I'm pretty positive my injuries would have been far worse. Our partners at Consumer Reports put more than a dozen helmets, both adult and youth sizes, through a variety of tests to see just how they can protect you. This assess how the chin straps will hold up upon impact. This test simulates what happens when a helmet impacts different surfaces, like a flat surface, like a street, a rounded triangle, like a curb, and then this surface, which simulates hitting a rock. Two adult helmets did poorly. The Nutcase Street Sport 8 Ball and the Burn Brighton Thin Shell EPS for women. Now, on the plus side, two helmets rated very good for impact resistance. They're the specialized echelon for adults, which cost $60, and for children, the $45 Bond Traeger Solstice Youth. But a helmet can only protect when it's worn properly. Make sure it's level on your head with no more than one or two fingers width above the brow. The strap should form a V under each ear with a buckle centered under the chin. And lastly, when you open your mouth, the helmet should pull down. All of this will help ensure your next ride is a safe one. And a couple other things to ensure a good snug fit. Consumer Report says that you should be able to shake your head back and forth without the helmet moving even before you actually strap it on.